I got these cute ankle weights at Walmart and I just wanted to film a video with them. No, I don't sell them. They were kind of expensive actually. They're mostly just cute. They're only a pound each. I'm gonna put them on my ankles and we're gonna do a 25 minute inner outer thigh and glute core workout. Grab your mat, grab whatever ankle weights you have and let's do this. All right. So you can do this workout with or without shoes. I'm choosing my to be without shoes because it was just easier with ankle weights. Go ahead and come on down, bend your knees, walk your hands forward, plant your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna just warm up with a bird dog exercise. You're gonna reach opposite arm, opposite leg, and switch it on the other side for a whole minute. Here we go, on. You don't have to be on the beat. Just go ahead and extend out and away back down. Now, if your wrists are a little bit grumpy about this flexion, so early on in the workout, you can just go to a fist. Or even to your elbows. We're just trying to get some nice extension. I'm going to go a little bit faster to build some heat. Think about leaning with the thumb on the way up and the heel with the glutes. Waking up your backside. Ooh. <laughs> now these are only a pound, so you can probably move fairly quick if your weights are that light. If you're wearing like two or three pound ankle weights, you might need to slow this down. It's totally fun. Try to keep your neck in neutral. We only have 15 seconds to transition. And rest. Next move, we're going to start at the top of the mat. Walk up to a nice tall stance. We're rolling down. Walking the hands forward. Two mountain climbers. Roll back up and finish it with a squat. Ready? Here we go. Roll down, walk it out. Climb, climb, walk back, roll up. Boom. Squat, do it again. Roll down, walk it out. Fast, fast. Knee, knee. Walk in, roll it up. Squat down. So this is part of our warm up. I went ahead and put your warm up on an interval as well just to keep the whole video uniform. Now after this minute's over, we're gonna go right into some isometric, or not isometric, some isolating movements here. This is really full body, and really compound. Trying to build some heat. So your muscles are nice and cooperative, like any warm up would do. The next move here, we're gonna be on the mat. Roll forward, two knees, maybe a walk back. You got it? Woo, head on down. Okay, we're gonna come down to the mat, roll it down. Take your back elbow, farthest away from me, take it to the ground. Your front knee is gonna lift 90 degrees, push back, in and down. And on, go. So it's like a fire hydrant, a kick in and down. This does not have to match the music. It's a one minute timed interval here. In fact, you can't match the music. <laughs> There's a pause between my songs. <laughs> I gotta work on figuring out how to take that pause out. If there's a feature in Epidemic Sound, somebody let me know in the comments. Halfway. All on this leg, that's why I said it's kind of isolating. We are isolating your glutes, your outer thigh, but your core is turned on. To keep your spine in alignment. Open up the knee, push it away. And try to keep the blade of the foot parallel to the sky. Belly button in. Oh, rest. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So you don't have to turn around, I am. You can just put your front elbow down and do your back leg farthest from me. I'm gonna flip so you can see it. Other elbow down, other hand under shoulder. Ready, on, fire hydrant. Kick it out, in and down. Side two is not gonna be as easy as side one because the leg you're standing on just worked. So it's not fresh. Try to really turn that toe out to the side. <laughs> You're about halfway. I'm feeling it. 
Now, this is actually like the first workout I've done with ankle weights in a long time. I like it though, so far so good. You guys are actually helping me break in these ankle weights. It's my first workout with these ones. I just bought them and I was like, oh, they're pretty. <laughs> Those still on camera. I wish they were two pounds. A little bit harder. Rest. Nice job. Stretch it back. We're going to go back to leg one. So whichever leg you just stood on, that's the leg you're going to send behind you. Hands under shoulders, fists under shoulders, or even both elbows if you'd like. You're going to stretch that leg out. Point your toe and circle. Go. Go. Circle. Like a nice long line from the crown of your head that toe and you can point it like a ballerina circle circle working the glutes strong hips here and then around the halfway point we'll switch directions all right reverse the direction go the other way but it's still the same leg a whole minute of circles here try to keep that hip shining down I'm really tempted to turn my hip out to the side like the last move. This one is square, so try to stay facing down. <sighs> Working the muscle fibers on a slightly different angle. Chin slightly tucked. So you're not dipping down here and you're not lifting up here, right, right in the middle. <sighs> and rest. Ooh. Stretch it out. You know what to do. We have 15 seconds and we're going to do side two. Leg circles from quadruped. Start getting ready here. You point your toe like a ballerina. Let's go. Circles. You're on three points of contact with the mat. So this is a little bit of core just to hold yourself up. Balance. Feel it in your shoulders as well. Although the upper body is not our focus in today's workout. We're really focusing on the lower body. Switch direction, circle the other way. You could wear these little ankle weights on your wrist though and do like some Pilates workouts with your arms or bar. It's kind of fun, muscular endurance workouts. Don't come at me in the comments being like, oh, one pound is not a good workout. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need. <laughs> Plus, do the whole thing with me, okay? One well, I minute, mean, it's, it's not short. And rest, release. Because yes, we are doing we're muscular endurance, meaning the ability to maintain tension for a longer time. Go ahead and lie on one side. Bottom elbow underneath your shoulder, bottom knee bent, top leg long, hot potatoes. Tap two to the front, you're just gonna go tap, tap over. Two to the back. Draw a rainbow here. Tap, tap, lift. Try to lift that chest. Options. If you find that your shoulder is sinking and this bothers your shoulder, go ahead and lay down. Bicep to your ear. Make a pillow. One more option is you can even place your head in your hands, but make sure this doesn't bother your shoulder or your neck. Sometimes it puts you out of alignment. So honor. We're gonna be on this side for the next three minutes. Woo! <laughs> Little fire going on here. Now, if you have ankle weights on for side one, I recommend you put them on for side two. So don't take them off for the other side unless you have an injury. Rest. Top leg, you're gonna go ahead and set that foot down behind your bottom leg, straighten out your bottom leg for inner thighs. I'm gonna come back up to my elbow, flex your foot. You're just gonna lift to the inner thigh, shine the knee to the sky. Go, on. One minute here. So a good excuse for maybe having weight on one side and not the other would be if you are rehabbing an injury. Just being a little bit gentle and just doing body weight movements with the side that's rehabbing. Okay, totally fine. Otherwise, if you want to try, have the same weight for both sides. And ideally the same amount of reps. 
for us. We're not counting reps. We're doing it for time. Let's try to keep the same tempo for the whole minute here. Even though we have little breaks in the music, just try to keep that tempo up. Woo. The inner thigh ones are hard for me. Really feeling your adductors. Come on, last five seconds. Finish it. We're gonna give your inner thigh a break. Rest, top leg again. So go ahead, bend your bottom knee like a little kickstand. Your top leg is gonna float about halfway. You're doing two little sharp circles. Then in, push it out. Lots of time under tension here for that top abductor. Here we go. And on. Circle, circle, in and out. Circle, circle, out. Point your toe on those circles. Flex your foot on the in and out. Try to keep your leg as high as you can for the circles. Feet the chest, push away. Oh, these are getting hard. <laughs> Fight for it. Resist the urge to take your ankle weight off. Now you can do this workout without ankle weights. Body weight would work. You would still get muscular endurance. It's essentially like a Pilates class. It's a really hard one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Done. Oh. Okay. Come on down. Either elbow to the floor. Sorry, bicep to ear or hand in your hand underneath your head. Both legs together. Take them off on a little 45 degree. We're gonna pick up both legs like one piece. Here we go. On. Like a mermaid fan, okay? Try to squeeze your legs together. Pick them up. Ooh, I'm gonna lay down. You're gonna work your waist, your inner outer thigh. Now this hand is just for balance. I'm pushing my fingertips into the ground to keep me from rocking and rolling forward. Halfway. Come on. Take breaks whenever you need them. Only when you need them, though, not just when you want them. Bite, bite, bite. Come on. Finish this, finish it. Three, two, Switch sides. Hallelujah. Bring my timer with me. Swing your legs the other way. Set it up. Bottom knee is bent. Bottom elbow is support. Top leg lifts. We're gonna do the hot potato tap for two. Here we go. Over tap it two. Tap. It's a light little bounce. Make a rainbow. If your upper body form starts to fall apart, take one of those other options. You could lay all the way down, or you could place your head in your hands. Just careful for the neck, because sometimes this one will leave your neck feeling a little crooked. Brace that core. Hot potato, lift it up and over. Almost done. Come on, finish it. We gotta go to your inner thigh next. Remember what comes up next? We just have those flex foot, inner thigh lifts, and rest. I'm gonna come back up to my elbow. You can do whatever feels comfortable for you. Bend your top leg and set the sole of the foot to the ground behind your bottom leg. Straighten out your bottom leg, not all the way straight. Always a little micro bend. We're just gonna lift and lower. Here we go, on. Sorry, I had hair in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Lift. Excellent. So the top hand is to help support you and keep you from rocking and rolling. And really, that's what your bottom foot, your back foot's doing too. It's also pushing down into the mat. Good. 
So I would call this like a really great little fine tuning workout to work muscle groups that are kind of harder to work in traditional workouts. Working them on different angles, getting on that mat, strapping on those ankles, weights. It's a great way to kind of just fine tune. Get yourself more balanced out for the bigger, harder workouts that you have coming up this week. Almost there, finish this leg. Lift it up to the sky, flex that foot. And rest. Whew. Okay, bottom knee bends again. That's now your new kickstand. Top leg is your mover. You're gonna go about halfway up, point your toe for two circles, and then knee and push it out. Flex, ready? Wait for the feet, and go. Two. Flex and push. Point for the circles. Nice sharp dinner plate size, maybe bigger. And push. Good. Circle. The hardest one is yet to come, I think. That double leg lift from your side. Like the reason why it's so hard for me, I don't do them very much. Your body adapts to whatever stresses you put on it. So if you bike a lot, chances are biking feels easy for you because your body adapted to it. That's great. That's called the principle of specificity. But you can make your body accustomed to whatever activity you want it to be accustomed to. Right. Okay, here it comes. I'm gonna drop down a little bit. Take both legs in a straight line and then lift them up and take them off 45. Top hand is gonna support you so you don't rock and roll forward. You can lie all the way down. We're gonna lift up both legs, ready? Here we go, up, up. Whew. These ones are tough. Both legs, if you can. So zip up your knees, zip up your inner thighs. You're not just lifting with the bottom leg, you're also gonna lift the top leg. Just move them together, one piece, halfway. I would not be surprised if I'm a little sore in my waist tomorrow from these moves. A lot of great stabilization is happening here. Whew. Finish it. Best form you got. Use your exhale. Rest. Roll over to your back. Next move here. Ooh, we got the bicycle. <laughs> Fingers behind your ears, elbows wide. We're going to go quick, quick, and then pulse. Pulse. So it's too fast, and then a pulse. Ready? On. Always kick off those ankle weights if you need it. Or you could tap your toe down a little bit easier. Quick, quick, and pulse. Pulse. I lost my headband. Quick, quick, pulse. Quick. Lift that shoulder up. Pulse. Elbows out nice and wide, so you can barely even see them out of your peripheral vision. Eyes are up, chin is up. Oh my gosh, come on. Single, single, double, keep your pace. Single, single, double, little pulse. Almost there, double. Oh my gosh, finish it. <laughs> and rest. Oh. All right, we got two more moves. Arms out in a T, knees are tabletop. Arms are gonna brace the floor. You're gonna extend one leg on the way up, drop both knees to the front, and we'll take the top leg out long. Ready? And go, drop them down. Top leg out, pull it back up, and then go the other way. Drop, top leg out, back to 90. Kick it out, back to 90. So extending that top leg here. Gonna work your quads. Obliques to pull the knees back to the center. 
Holy cow, this is much harder with ankle weight. <laughs> Feel free to bend your knees and bring them closer to your body, make it easier. Farther away from the body is harder. And that little leg extension part that I'm doing is subtractable, so you can take that away if you need less. Here's an option, this is what it would look like. If you're not doing the leg out, just both knees bend, drop them. Both knees bend, Woo, rest. All right, last move, here it is, best one. Legs overhead, you're gonna do two quick crosses and then an open close. Hands can be by your side for support. You can even sit on your hands if you need a little bit of extra help there. Go, quick, quick, open. Quick, quick, open. In, in, out. Make sure you're pushing your lower back into the floor. Don't let it arch up. You can kick a little lower to make this harder. So make sure your knees are soft and you have control here. The weights are not in charge. You are in charge. Cross, cross, open. Over halfway. think maybe uh, we could do a little bonus. When this interval's over, could we hold the hundreds? Classic Pilates ab move. Ooh. Keep that low back pushing down. Chop, chop, open. And let's hold that hundreds. Bonus round. Get the legs out. Arms pop. Go, go. Head, shoulders up. Isometric crunch through the upper body. Slap the water right by your sides here. Oh my gosh. Come on, you can bend your knees if you need less. You can rest your head if you need less. Rest. Bring those knees in. Nice job. Roll your ankles around. Pause our timer here. Go ahead and take those ankle weights off. Hopefully they're not hard to take off. Mine are really easy. It's just like one Velcro. Drop those knees to one side. Let them rest. Open your opposite arm out to the side. Take a twist here. And then we'll switch it. Knees to the other side. Reach the opposite arm across. Twist through your back. Ooh, beautiful. Back in through the middle here. Planting your feet. Catch one hamstring. Send your foot up to the sky. Stretch it out. And then we'll cross it, ankle over thigh. Push your knee open or reach through and hug your bottom hamstring, stretching out your outer hip. Just take a few moments here to stretch things back out. Really important part of every workout is to just work on your flexibility a little bit at a time. Other side, step that foot down, side two, hamstring stretch. And then flexed foot, cross over the other thigh. You can push your thigh open or reach through if you have that space. Outer hip stretch. So what did you think? If you liked the workout, please hit like. Comments, done. If you have ankle weights, let me know. Say, yeah, I have no idea, don't tear. I make more videos with them or don't even bother. Release it, uncross your ankles, take a couple rolls and make your way up to a comfortable seat. Let's take a side stretch. So we worked our sides, right hand to the floor, left arm up. Press that left hip to the floor and switch it. So if you have ankle weights and you're like, yeah, I would love more content with ankle weights. Leave a comment, leave a comment, help me out. Breathe, fingertips behind you, lift up your chest, lift up your chin, stretch your pecs. And release, take a big breath in bow it out. Great workout today, team. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next one.